Have you ever wondered how super wealthy individuals beat the odds and become rich? It is even more baffling to think that some of us millionaires and billionaires were not even born in a wealthy background. So, what is their secret? How do they make and increase their wealth? In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 million dollar lessons from 10 millionaires. 1. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Warren Buffett, who is an American business financier, investor and philanthropist, shared this lesson. He is currently the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and this lesson from him is meant to help you put investing in perspective. The message that Warren is trying to pass is that it is easy to get caught up in the general sentiment of how the stock market is performing, but doing so won't help your finances. Instead, realize that when everyone is talking about how great the economy and stocks are doing, a pullback may be on its way. At the same time, be prepared to invest more when the stock market is tanking and everyone is freaking out. You don't get rich by buying high and selling low. Instead, you would make much more by buying low when everyone is fearful and selling high when everyone is greedy. 2. The key to making money is to stay invested. Suze Orman is an author, financial advisor, motivational speaker, television and podcast host. Suze Orman preaches that everyone should have an emergency fund full of 8 months worth of living expenses. While other experts may debate that her emergency fund requirements are a bit high, most won't argue that having an emergency fund is a great financial tool you should have. Suze advises that at minimum, you should aim for at least 3 to 6 months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. The benefit of having an emergency fund are numerous. An emergency fund can help you from digging yourself into debt. When you have an emergency fund, you don't have to panic or borrow the next time an unexpected expense pops up. An emergency fund prevents your life from turning into a chaos if you have to go without income due to loss of a job temporarily, or relocation, or even during a pandemic or natural disaster. 3. Focus on the next right move We're always taught to dream big and follow our goals, but sometimes life can feel pretty overwhelming. The answer to surmount life's overwhelming challenges, according to Oprah, is to try to focus on one thing at a time. During a 2014 talk she gave at Stanford Graduate School of Business, she advised, The way through the challenge is to be still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all this to figure out. And then from that space, make the next right move and the next right move, then you won't be overwhelmed by it because you know your life is bigger than that one moment. 4. No billion dollar effort gets off the ground without a healthy and willing personality behind it. As a fitness expert and personal trainer to billionaires, Samir Pesik says, I truly believe that in the 21st century, in order to excel in the world, you have to be fit and healthy. Billionaires from the founder of Under Armour to 86-year-old George Soros all emphasize how important personal health is to them. Success is not about having an idea, it is about having it and being fit enough to pursue it. Your idea won't get off the ground if you feel sluggish and unfit. You won't have the energy to do all the things on your list if you are not healthy. Stress reduction strategies, a healthy diet and regular exercise will do wonders for your motivation and mental capacity. Even in pursuing your dreams, health is key to keeping you in tip-top shape. 5. Your biggest enemies are your bills. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter how you live. It doesn't matter what kind of car you drive. It doesn't matter what type of clothes you wear. It doesn't matter. Your biggest enemies are your bills. The more you owe, the more you stress. The more you stress over bills, the more difficult it is to focus on your goals. Mark Cuban is a businessman and investor. He is also the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. Mark noted that it is simple to accumulate lots of bills, buying everything advertisers want you to buy. However, instead of focusing on accumulating goods and figuring out how to pay for them, it is wise for you to focus on your big goals or become a tough staff in the company you currently work. One obstacle between you and your dreams is debt. The stress of figuring out how to pay your debt diverts your thoughts and energy from reaching those goals. Instead of investing your income to being more profitable, you end up using them to pay debt. If you want to be successful in life, you must learn to minimize your bills and spend that time you would have spent worrying about money on reaching your goals instead. 6. Your best gets better with the right people. Don't do it alone. The African proverb says, If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Drives home the point of this lesson. Bill Gates, who is an American business magnate and the co-founder of Microsoft, explains that a person is better when he or she got the right people around. Gates built a culture for the best and brightest, 
and was good at convincing his friends such as Paul Allen and Steve Ballmer to join him on his adventures. By surrounding himself with smart people, Bill was able to scale. He also had a sounding board for ideas. Bill Gates believes that ideas could get better from the combined smart and perspectives. Having the right people around you helps you to complement your strength and make up for your weaknesses. 7. You are richer than you think. You are more powerful than you know, and small amounts of money can change your life. David Beck, who is a financial author, television personality, motivational speaker and founder of FinishRich.com, is famous for the late factor which shows how much money you could end up with if you would simply give up your daily latte and invest that money instead. But the latte factor isn't about lattice, it is about the bigger picture. Now, how many small or meaningless purchases do we make that we could redirect to invest for our futures? Could you cut out your daily snacks at the gas station convenience store? Or maybe your daily soda from the vending machine? Well, you may not even have to cut those things out. Just purchase them in a more economical way. According to Dave, many of the excessive purchases we make are ones we all make out of habit, not necessarily because we want what we're buying. If we focus on what we really want, find the most sensible way to make those purchases and invest the savings from doing so, we could all end up much wealthier down the road. The key isn't taking away things you enjoy in your life. It is removing the automatic purchases that don't bring us happiness and saving or investing that money instead. 8. Excellence for the most successful among us is a habit. There are two words of advice from Mohamed Duji, CEO of the METL Group and Africa's youngest billionaire at 42. He says, Always strive for excellence in life and never make room for mediocrity. Set your standards high and your efforts shall be rewarded. Long-term goals can seem daunting or abstract. However, waking up every day and being consistent with one standard is key. A billion dollars starts with a million, which starts with a thousand, which starts with one. And that first dollar is only earned by demanding one's best. The most successful entrepreneurs create the right goals and achieve them excellently and with time. Smashing goals become a habit. And finally, thus become exemplary accomplishments, insist on excellence, and you will attain success. 9. Consume knowledge like air and put your pursuit of learning above all else. Tucker Hughes was a millionaire by the time he was 22. His pearls of wisdom come with a more intellectual bent. He thinks everyone should invest, not only in real estate, stocks, or other platforms, but in themselves. Tucker once said that, the safest investment I have ever made is in my future. He urged individuals to read at least 30 minutes a day, listen to relevant podcasts while driving, and seek out mentors vigorously. According to Tucker, you don't just need to be a master in your field, you need to be a well-rounded genius capable of talking about any subject, whether it is financial, political, or sports-related. He believes that it is critically important for individuals to spoil themselves to a healthy extreme to reward hard work and avoid burnout. 10. Stop stopping yourself Mark Zuckerberg, in his teenage days, was no different from your average geek, except that this ambitious geek had a vision. A goal to connect the world in a way that would forever revolutionize the way we interact with each other. Today, Facebook is more than a social media platform. It has become a way of life. Before we brush our teeth in the morning, we are checking our notification bar. Before we shut our eyes for a good night's rest, we take one good last peek. For any missed messages from our friends, stop stopping yourself, get a vision, and run with it. So there you have it. The million dollar tips from 10 millionaires you know, if you incorporate these lessons into your million-dollar ideas, you just might be the next big thing.